All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Right now we're outside of Rule King and we're about to go in and get some deer hunting stuff. We don't know exactly what yet. We might get some corn or some throw and grow. We've already put throw and grow down previously in a few spots we hunt at just to see what it did because we've never tried it before. So we're gonna go get some more because we were told that it had kind of got eaten up by somebody that went and checked on it for us. So we're gonna go check all that today, film it, just kind of see where it's going. And it might be a little early to some people. They might think, why are we doing this in the beginning of July, basically? It's never a bad time to get out there and kind of see where your animals, where your deer are moving and to kind of get them used to coming to the area. So hopefully we can increase our chances of killing a bigger deer this year. But that's going to be the video for today. So you see us kind of scouting around, maybe some tips here or there from what we've learned and kind of see how everything goes. Well guys, we are going in this store. It's like Hunter said, Rural King Redneck store. Yee yee brother. Um, but we're going over to Elliot's property actually. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be able to do a lot of hunting this year because of law school and stuff, but these guys are, and I want you guys to see all the uh, preparation that goes into it, and we're going to try to put some more, I guess, emphasis into prepping for deer season instead of getting out there and just being mad because we're not seeing anything or killing anything like we usually do, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's get to it. Best part about rednecks, free popcorn. Free coffee when you walk in the store. Hey. Why would he get corn? We we don't we can't feed these deer. Why not? Do you have time to go up into Miller's Creek once a week and dump out corn? Not Miller's Creek. I've got another spot, man. You're not even hunting this year. You just said you weren't hunting. I need content. The viewers want to see massive deer. And then I can kill them the next year when they're actually big, not the four pointers you kill. First of all, I don't kill four pointers, I kill spikes. You're going to get <laughs> roasted in the comments. All right, we'll call off a corn. No, no. 6.59. Do you guys think it'd be a better video if we just bought this bug zapper and went around hitting Elliot in the head with it? <laughs> we thought about our game plan. And by thought about, I mean we read the back of the throw and grow. You're not supposed to plant it in the middle of the summer. <laughs> we have bachelor's degree somehow. Um, you can tell we didn't take many of those classes. But uh, we're gonna get some salt blocks. Way better value, <laughs> five bucks a piece or six bucks a piece versus fifteen dollars for throwing grow. It's not going to grow because it you're already, playing in the middle of summer. We already got some that grow. We came to Rural King to work out. Let's do some curls. <laughs> okay, this is enough. Here, Jerry, hold this. <laughs> All right, we need a bug. Should I go get a bug? No. Hunter, you carry this for me? <laughs> I'll have a cut on my hand and it burns. <laughs> Salt will heal it, man. I'm getting this one. We're getting the 649. We're going to see which one's better. This one's just salt, and that one's salt and minerals. Hunter's going to carry this up on top of the mountain. All right, guys, so we're heading over to Elliot's right now. There's Hunter right now. There's Hunter. We're heading over to Elliot's. Going to put out one of these mineral blocks or salt blocks. I'm going to save the other one for another video, actually. And, um, yeah, so we're going to test the difference in these two salt blocks here. Like, like I was saying, this one's just salt, and this one has minerals and salt. So Elliot bought this one, I bought this one, and um, we're gonna see the difference in them. It's not really gonna be, I mean, it's not really gonna be a good experiment we're doing here because we're gonna have them in completely different areas on completely different properties and probably about 20 miles apart from each other. But you know, if one has deer come to it and the other one doesn't have any deer come to it, 
then we know that one's probably better than the other. We don't have much experience using salt blocks and like putting them out for deer, but hopefully, hopefully we can get a lot of cool pictures of deer or whatever comes to these salt blocks on our trail cameras. Um, just mainly to keep an eye on what's going through our hunting areas because this is something that we failed to do last year that I feel like we really need to start doing more of if we want to kill a big deer. Going up in the woods. Elliot, this is a truck, man. Drive it like a truck. Easy, hey, easy, I was kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, so we decided we were gonna throw out some mineral. Uh, the reason we're setting it here is because we, we've planted throw and grow here back in the spring, and um, we're gonna set up trail cameras. That's our tree stand, we usually hunt out of that. Um, we're just trying to get a feel for the deer population around here. So we feel like this is gonna be a good way to get a grasp on it early, and then we can plan for it later in August when we either replant or uh, start feeding up here before deer season and just to let you guys know we can always move this mineral block I expect that it will last a long time so they can move it to wherever they'd like uh, on this property here how many acres is this we have 50 on the side of the mountain he's got 50 acres so I mean pretty good chunk of land mostly woods right so yeah, I mean, they're going to see what kind of deer come through here. Wait, we got one finishing touch. Take this sticker off, man. Wouldn't want to kill a deer. Look at all this crap. Kill one. Kill one okay. in muzzleloading season with a sticker on its side. <laughs> Just on its nose. Just a... <laughs> well, Wait. put the salt block here. Tree stands there. Camera Where are you putting the camera, Hunter? That tree. All right, we got it. All right, it's starting. Salt blocks right there. Let's get her done, Let's get man. It. Let's. Hey. Hey. Oh, camper. It's Walmart, unlocked. Use your muscle? No. Oh. oh. I don't know if I'd be camping in here. I told you we camping if we took a good three weeks. Two, like eight to eights to clean it out. Hey man, we got a spatula. See? Well, don't worry. Elliot's got a gun. He he brings a gun, just in case we see a snake. An assault rifle. You're scared of a snake. Hey. A snake. a snake. A snake. A snake. You know snake. the snake is gonna be like a copperhead. That's the only one you should be scared of. A copperhead or a rattlesnake. Spot number two. So we got a stand right there. They got a stand here. And then Hunter's going to put a little trail camera here. We don't have any food here, but they attempted to plant some throw and grow like right in this area. It gets a little sunlight, but not enough, I don't well, think. When we planted it, there was no leaves. There was no leaves? It was like early March, I think. Okay. Well, that's all right. I mean, I'm just curious to see what up there looks like because we put a lot up there and we raked it and everything. Oh, that might look pretty good up there. So is this a pretty good spot, Hunter? I've never been here before, so. I don't know. I've only hunted it like once and didn't see. Saw some turkeys like way back up in the mountain. But the only other time we put a camera up here was like two years ago. We had several deer move through and then we had a nice six or eight pointer. Couldn't really tell what it was because the camera was in a bad spot. Well, there's deer on the mountain. Remember that so, one time we came up here and... Uh, dude, we should have put the salt block here. And I climbed up there. Oh, yeah, that buck came through. There's like way, way... Like if you go way up this mountain, like it's a good, another good 10 minutes and it's straight uphill. But it opens up up there. And there's like not once have we ever been up there and not had activity. Hmm. It's just kind of hard pain. to see them because we're in the middle of the mountain. And See, the problem with us is, is we do this kind of crap. Deer and de deer, deering, deer deer during deer season and ruin the spot, but now we're doing it in the summer, so it's perfectly fine. Hunter, don't die. <laughs> Good God, mighty. Oh, hey, fixed it. Watch it blow right back over here. 
We got it, Hunter. We got it. Yay. We got it. Frosty time. Cleared that out. Perfect little spot here. There's a few different paths. One coming this way. What'd you say? One coming this way? Well, it kind of well, crosses over. There's one going over. up that mountain. And then one come. Looks like one going up through here, too. Yeah. yeah that's how we climb the mountain. And then there's some little... This little grass in here just isn't grass. It's wheat-ish stuff. We attempted to plant and throw and grow, but we didn't really try. We just kind of threw it down. But you tell me... Most of it. You tell me why a deer is going to eat this over that down there. Like, there's literally grass right down there for them to eat. You want me to tell you why? Because they have more cover? No. Tasty. Well, one, one, cover is a big deal depending on, like, rain, wind, all that. Like, sometimes deer are just in the thickets. And two, it's also because we're surrounded by a lot more trees right here. And I don't know how many people know, but, like, oaks are like they don't have acorns every year so like all oaks are like on a different cycle basically Tom and sometimes the like sometimes year. they're just like there's just years and there's ton of acorns everywhere but then other times there's no acorns so if there's no acorns they're going to feel more but if the woods are full then a lot of people say you need to hunt in the woods well so that's fair i mean you never yeah. know but, I'd still consider that the woods, though. <laughs> but they're going to yeah. eat the acorns and not the throw and grow. <laughs> oh, no, they're not going to eat this throw and grow. But this is a good path. This is a good place for deer to, to move. To try through. to hold them here do the best you can. I mean, yeah. Oh, gotcha. They're I not going to come here to... This looks like a good stand, here. though. I mean, it looks like a great stand for, like, archery season. They're going to be archery. moving through here rather than... Archery. Archery season. Bow season, whatever. Anyway, I mean, it's, like... No more than what a thirty yard shot anywhere. Mm -mm. Close quarters. Close quarters. Good. My type of hunt. All right, let's get out of here. All right, what is up, guys? So it's been a little bit since we did this, but it hasn't been months ago. It was pretty recent, and we're just now getting it edited because all the Chickamauga stuff. Go see that if you have not yet. But. That's going to be about it for this video. We had a lot of fun getting out there, didn't we, Elliot? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We enjoyed filming us, setting up the sop block, getting everything ready. Hopefully, we will get back to you soon when we check our uh, trail cameras, and uh, hopefully, we'll have some deer on it. Who knows? But stay tuned, because all that content's coming soon. As soon as we get it, it'll be on the YouTube for you guys to see, and hopefully, we can get some bigger deer this season. That's one huge goal of ours. And it'll all be documented right here on Jared's channel. So do us one big favor. Hit that subscribe button. But that's going to do it for this video. And as always, take, take someone, someone outdoors. outdoors.